From illegal wardens to hidden doors, here are 77 Minecraft things you didn't know existed. Everyone knows the Wither is immune to arrows in its second phase, but I bet you didn't know fireworks will still damage it, so you can rapid fire rockets at them still. You're done for! Wanna get creative with your decorations? Mix item frames with mob heads and banners to create what looks like mob head posters. It's a fantastic way to add some unique flair to your base. If a honey block is near a bee's nest, the bees will occasionally fly close and attach to it, resembling an action of eating honey. When doing this, the bees stop fluttering its wings and attaches to the honey block. Crawling is normally so slow, but by building a one block tall tunnel, filling it with water and trapping a dolphin nearby, you will be given dolphin's grace, which will let you zoom through the tunnel. To make the travel method even faster, replace the floor with soul soil and make sure your boots have depth strider and soul speed. Now, when you go through, you'll travel at light speed. Sea pickles may seem just like another decoration, but they're actually very useful. Their hitbox sizes are actually perfect for splitting items that go into a a single water stream. Hoppers are the best for picking up dropped items. However, they can't pick up items if there's a full block on top. But by just exchanging the hopper with a hopper minecart, it'll magically suck the items right through the full block. Ow, my feet! Magma blocks will burn your toes, but there are two ways to avoid it from dealing damage. The first is by just shifting, and the second way is actually by using boots with the Frostwalker enchantment. Ah, my feet feel much better now. Did you know if you push a honey block, the entity on top moves with it? This feature lets you create amazing conveyor bells to show off all your diamonds. Just watch them glide along. This is a melon and ender pearl farm. Although a strange combination, it works surprisingly well. It combines a normal enderman farm with melons growing nearby. As endermen run to the kill chamber, they pick up the melons. This way you'll get full melon blocks instead of slices like in a normal melon farm. Look at this bowl! It looks pretty normal, but it's actually a super rare item. When turtles get struck by lightning, they actually drop wooden bowls. What's weird is that it's not a glitch or random choice. Someone at Mojang intentionally coded it in. It's basically a cooked turtle shell. Dragon's Breath is extremely deadly, but there's a trick to take zero damage from it. Just bring empty bottles and when the dragon fires at you, right click the Dragon's Breath as fast as possible. You'll bottle up all the breath and it'll just vanish without arming you. The composter is broken. It's supposed to convert plant scraps into bone meal, but something's missing. In real life, bamboo can be composted, but for some reason, you can't compost it in the game. What's even stranger is that on the Bedrock Edition, you can compost entire blocks of grass. Ravagers are one one of the scariest mobs, but it used to have a secret fear. When they were first added in Snapshot 18W43A, they were actually afraid of rabbits and would run away from them. However, Jeb later tweeted that it didn't quite fit the scary nature of the Ravager and the feature was removed. Did you know this black and white cat is inspired from a Mojang employee's real life cat? In 2012, Jeb added his own cat named Newton to the game and a developer tweeted about it. Let me pet it! Whoops. Foxes had a bit of a rough start in the Minecraft journey. Originally, their textures were all messed up when they were being coded. It was so wild that it was shared in a development video. Don't throw your trident. If you throw a trident in the end, it's easy to accidentally chuck it in the void. Even the loyalty enchantment can't save your trident from it. No, my precious trident. Water is supposed to make you not take fall damage. So explain this. When you drop into a cauldron filled with water, you'll die. However, when you land into a waterlogged chest that barely has any water, you'll be perfectly fine. How do you travel through the ground? Place rails leading to a soul sand block with a connected rail below and your minecart will travel straight through. This doesn't make sense. How do you get experience without hitting mobs? Most mobs don't drop experience if you don't hit them. However, there's a simple trick. You can use your dogs. Just stuff two dogs on the sides of your skeleton grinder and they'll kill the skeletons for you while dropping the experience. <laughs> Keep working. There's a way to get unlimited food and it's by enslaving foxes. By building a berry farm like this and trapping a fox inside, the fox will regularly pick berries which will get collected by a hopper minecart. But to make it even better, place a chicken nearby and the fox will never go to sleep. The guardian's eye is following you. It looks pretty scary, but when you look at it from the side, you'll see it's just made from a long tunnel and the inside is filled with white maps. Still, it's kind of freaky the first time you see it. Those are my items. Are your friends always looting your chests? Well, you can use maps to hide them. Place a map over your chest and you can click the edge of the map to access your chest. My valuables are finally safe. Most players think the only way to extinguish a campfire is with a water bucket, but there are two other awesome ways. You can actually do so by throwing a splash water bottle on it or just using a handy shovel. Witches are invincible to this potion. If you throw instant harming potions at a witch, she'll be perfectly fine. She just drinks up healing potions. I even tried giving it poison and then spamming harming potions, but it still lived. Fine, you win this one. Baby piglings are adorable. While the adults will hunt down hoglings, baby piglings will sometimes ride on top of baby hoglings, even stacking up to three piglings on a single one. It's ridiculously cute. With three TNT, you can craft the eat those slabs. 
have. It functioned like a regular TNT, however, during explosions, it spawns an anvil over entities in the explosion range. It was found in the Minecraft 2.0 April Fool's update. Why do speedrunners break the blocks under the blaze spawner? I always wondered this, but turns out, by breaking the floor, the blazes have a larger area to spawn in, and will lead to more spawning. This way, you can save time and get blaze rods quicker. What's the fastest way to loot a desert temple? Instead of slowly opening up all the chests, break all but one of the TNT at the bottom and activate it. Once it blows up, you can collect all the items along with the extra blocks to tower out. The enchanting table language actually translates to real words. It's called the standard galactic alphabet from a game called Commander Keen. The symbols in the enchanting table translate to words like air, baguette, and ball. Sadly, these words are just aesthetic though and can't be used to predict the enchantments, which is our pure evil. They always try to kill you. However, during raids, participating witches will seek out low health illagers and ravagers to throw regeneration at them. I guess witches are nice to their friends. I never knew you could do this. Tridents aren't just good for shooting mobs. They have a secret ability. When you throw a trident at a dripstone, it'll cause it to break and fall down. When you looked inside the beacon beam, you used to see a white laser all around you. But in 1.15, this was changed, so now all you see are a few particles when looking down the beam. Bring it back. Dropping sand on this block makes it break. While we all know things like torches and slabs will break falling sand, surprisingly, soul sand breaks it too. This doesn't seem much of an issue, but if you're trying to drain lava in a soul sand valley, you won't be able to use sand to clear out the lava at the bottom. TNT, slime, and honey blocks can be instantly mined. So if you are in somewhere like an ocean temple where you get mining fatigue, you can use the blocks to clear out the water and still mine the blocks right back up. If you have a brewing stand and need to fill up some bottles, a cool trick is using waterlogged slabs. From the outside, they'll just look like your normal floor, but right-clicking on them will fill up your bottles and buckets. As an added bonus, creepers won't blow up the floor. The warden looks terrifying, but some of the original designs were even scarier. On a blog post by Mojang, the various concept arts for the warden were shared. One version of the warden would even flip around 180 degrees. Disgusting! If you want to spice up your house, you can make a closet with banners that look like actual clothes inside. It's the perfect way to add a touch of realism to your Minecraft bedroom. Every tool in Minecraft can mine its own type. Iron mines iron, diamond mines diamond, but gold? Gold can't even mine other gold ores. Why are you so weak? For some reason, all these blocks can't stop a skeleton from burning in the sun, but surprisingly, cobwebs keep the skeletons safe, even though you can see right through it. Why won't this golem spawn? Well, it's because if the pumpkin isn't placed last, the golem won't spawn. It's the same for the snow golem. You have to place the pumpkin at the end. Dripstone can be very dangerous. If it falls from 40 blocks, it does maximum damage. And if you drop it down an end portal, whoever enters next and loads the end will be met with an unpleasant surprise. Watch your head. Furnaces have a secret power. Furnaces give a small amount of experience when you smelt items, but the experience is only dropped when you take out the item. So by taking the smelted items with a hopper, you can stack huge amounts of experience in the furnace. Once you manually take out an item, all the previously smelted items will give you a ton of XP. This is a bone meal farm. It uses stone generators, moss blocks, and bone meal to spread the moss. Once all the moss is destroyed, it can be composted into bone meal, and you'll get slightly higher returns. Did you know spiders in Minecraft are slightly hovering over the ground? They're actually not touching it. This is a hidden tunnel. It opens only when you're riding a minecart and holding a nether star. It's part of McMackenstein's secret door data pack, which adds other entrances as well, like this tree that turns on its side, a bed that opens downward, or this chest with a ladder inside. These hidden entrances are awesome. Ever wonder why jukeboxes need diamonds to craft? Turns out they're based on old phonographs, which use diamond tipped needles to play the music. That's so cool. Stop giving me knockback. If you're trying to get better enchantments and all you see is knockback, you can re-roll them by enchanting something cheap like a wooden shovel. Then try again with your sword and voila. Brand new enchantments. All of Minecraft's tools use wooden sticks as their handles except one of them. Netherite tools are the only ones with a crimson shaft. Crimson and wrapped logs are actually animated and have a pulsing texture. It makes the wood almost feel alive. When wandering traders initially spawn, they'll walk towards the nearest bell if it exists within 48 blocks. You can use this feature to make a super simple wandering trader farm where the trader will walk towards a bell and then be transferred to the nether. While this farm may seem completely useless, it can be used to bring a bunch of llamas and leaves. Have you ever broken an ice block and wondered why you didn't get water? Well, it's because you need a block underneath if you want water. Otherwise, you'll just get air if you try breaking it. Everyone knows you can shift click an item to move it across inventories, but there's another trick way less people know. If you hold shift and double click the same item you're holding, it'll bring all the items of the same type across inventories. Jumping on slime blocks is supposed to bounce you, but if you hold shift to cancel the bounce, you'll end up breaking your legs. Instead, just hold down spacebar and it'll cancel the bounce without hurting you. How much durability do I have left? Most people don't know that
that you actually press F3 and H to enable advanced tooltips and show exact durability left. Vindicators hate villagers. Knowing this, we can lock a villager in a minecart and spawn a vindicator in the middle. This will cause a wild goose chase that will go on forever. This wall seems perfectly normal, but if you use a magical wand on it, the bricks will move apart, revealing a secret entrance. This amazing contraption was made by Mick Mackenstein, and once you cross the entrance, you can close it up, ensuring no one follows you. If you want to torture a slime, simply lock it in a cube of slime blocks. Slimes aren't able to jump on top of slime blocks, so they'll be forever stuck. It's a bit cruel because they're jumping a dead slime, but you can just trap magma cubes and feel less guilty. Villagers are terrified of raids. When they hear one coming, they all scatter into their homes, and some villagers will even shake and sweat in fear. This new arrow existed in the game for only two days. The Arrow of Luck was a reward item from Fletcher Villagers. Using the arrow would grant the villagers the luck effect, which would make it so you got better loot from fishing. Too bad you can't get this arrow in survival anymore. Tridents with the channeling enchantment strike lightning whenever it lands on a mob or lightning rod. Using this feature, channeling tridents can be placed on top of end rods and bounced up and down to create a lightning generator. You can then surround your entire base with these, and good luck to anyone trying to break in. TNT is extremely dangerous because it can destroy your entire build, but if you put a falling anvil on top of the prime TNT, the TNT will explode inside of the anvil, and no blocks will break. Want the ultimate escape route? Just bring some leather boots and build a powered snow wall. Now, if anyone tries to pass this wall, they'll freeze to death, but if you wear your trusty leather boots, you can scale the entire wall like a pro. Beds can hide a secret entrance. Well, if you place blocks all around a bed except one spot, you'll spawn there when exiting the bed. Knowing this, you can place a bed in a secret corner, and by exiting it, you'll be in your secret stash. But that's not nearly as bad as using this contraption. It'll be a bit expensive, but if you fill the dispensers with harming and healing potions, you can alternate them, making the mobs take damage but never die. If you have a ton of enemies outside, you'll need something that shoots quickly. By placing redstone torches, redstone, and dispensers like this, you'll create a rapid fire turret. Anything can be put in here from arrows to fire charges to fireworks. This contraption is special because you can extend it horizontally as much as you want. If you have a railway system leading underground, you can easily trap it with a detector rail and a piston sending you falling. This is the pillager freezer. It uses pistons to surround this ravager in powdered snow, causing it to freeze. Just before it begins to take damage, the cold is released only to start back up again shortly. You can even see it shivering inside the powdered snow. Maybe it'll be nice to the villagers now. No, you can rain arrows on mobs. Most of the time, arrows do damage, but if you use healing arrows, you can rain down at your enemies forever. This way, the mob will feel the pain without dying. To make it last for such a long time, you can fill the dispensers to the brim with double chests and hoppers for extra backup. Then use healing arrows to rain pain onto your enemies forever without them dying. Pandas are one of the cutest mobs in Minecraft, and I'll never hurt them. Psych! The worried panda type whimpers in fear whenever there's a lightning storm. When it cries, you can break any roof on top of the panda, or even just throw a channeling trident at it. Too bad this only works on Bedrock Edition. Give me a better trait. If your villagers aren't giving you good deals, you can give them a nice shake-up. A simple looping machine like this one with ice and pistons in each corner will do the trick. Just place a pressure plate, redstone repeaters, a piston, and slime block to create the ultimate setup. The villager can never get out, and it'll be super fun to watch. Donkeys are awesome for carrying loot, but they're too slow compared to horses. But there's a way to get both storage and speed. By feeding a tamed horse and tamed donkey a golden carrot, you'll breed them and get the mule. This mob doesn't spawn naturally and must be bred. The mule speed is between the donkey and horse, and it can have storage. Skeletons are a dangerous mob because they have aimbot. But did you know a skeleton can actually shoot itself? And no, I don't mean a skeleton shooting another skeleton. If a skeleton aims directly vertical, the arrow will fly into the sky and land right down on itself. How tragic. Villagers love to sleep at night, but if you ring a bell, they'll get back up immediately. To prevent the villagers from sleeping, you can make this build with an observer and a bell that will not let the villagers sleep. Looks like the villager has to get back to work. If you want a super cool way to defend your base, try this bomber plane. It duplicates TNT on any of your enemies below. Endermen are great at escaping danger, but not if it's surrounded by water. By putting it in an underwater prison like this one, the Endermen will be in constant fear. But if you change one glass for a grass block, the Endermen will eventually pick up the block and dig its own grave by letting water in. Everyone knows that you should never hit a zombie pigling or all the rest to charge at you. But if you kill it in one swing, all the piglins won't know what happened and stay peaceful. If you play string on top of lava for some reason, it won't make any sounds. This way you can prank your friends and lead them to lava. <laughs> when you bone meal the grass, it may look like the flowers are randomly popping up, but they're not. Flowers in Minecraft generate in patterns and can be seen by constantly bone mealing and removing the grass. This looks trippy. Minecraft's textures are iconic because they're so simple, but you can completely change that. In Bedrock Edition, photorealistic maps were created using custom models from real life. 
and it's sometimes hard to even tell you're in Minecraft. But seeing these realistic corridors with Minecraft mobs looks pretty cursed. Stop making sounds. Sometimes parrots make a bit too much noise, so you can silence them by giving them a yummy treat. Just toss them over a cookie, and it'll stop making sounds, and also be poisoned. Stop using fences. Instead, you should use trapdoors, because by placing them around mobs, you'll create a barrier that you can walk over, but the mobs can't. These sheep are not very smart. Have you ever noticed observers have a face? Well, it didn't always look like this. Instead of a face, there was a small sensor, but because both sides of the observer looked like a sensor, it was easy to get them confused. Luckily, Jeb kept getting confused too, and just added a face. This layered defense is great for stopping mobs. Just place a border of water to prevent endermen, the honey will trap some mobs, and the final layer of lava will stop all the rest. Skeletons are one of the most annoying mobs, but you can get revenge with boots. Just toss them some frostwalker boots and leave the skeleton on an island without trees. Once it turns day, the skeleton will try running to the water, but will never be able to stop burning. This works with other undead mobs too, like zombies. If you turn on subtitles, you can see what sounds are playing around you. This can be really useful when trying to find lava pools underground. But something cursed also happens when you spawn a guardian. Who decided to call the sound a moan? Baby mobs are very attached to their parents. They will constantly try to follow them, which is very cute. But if you're looking for a good torture method, it's perfect. The machine makes it so the baby pig is constantly trying to go to the parents, but gets pushed back. You have to be an evil villain to use this. Did you know that to find a brown mushroom, a red mushroom needs to be struck by lightning, which is a very rare event. But another way of encountering a brown mushroom is by breeding it. So there's only a 1 in 1024 chance for the baby mushroom to be brown. What's the best wood in Minecraft? You probably think it's something like oak or cherry wood, but it's not even close. The best wood is actually bamboo, because it has an amazing ability. Bamboo can be completely automatically farmed with just a piston and observer, while other wood farms need to abuse TNT duping to destroy the wood, and thousands of bone meal to grow the sapling. Uh, to throw items through blocks, just throw it at a path block, because patch blocks are slightly smaller than a full block, and hoppers underneath can actually pick them up. This also works with other smaller blocks like soul sand and farmland. Dolphins are extremely intelligent. If you feed it a fish, the dolphin will show you to the nearest treasure to thank you. So nice! Take a close look at the hot bar, and you'll realize that the boxes and sand textures that are transparent. Mojang is very good at reusing textures. All the way until version 1.8.9, for some reason, eggs and snowballs both deal damage to the ender dragon, and you can actually kill it with them. They didn't work on other mobs, just the ender dragon. Who knew the dragon's weakness was eggs and snowballs? Well, those are some Minecraft things you didn't know existed. Subscribe for good luck.